Hey friends, God bless you. It's Kevin here. Hope you're doing well. And I felt like I have a significant and a powerful word of lore that I want to share with you today. This came through a、uh, encounter of the lore I had recently, as I was preparing for our Destiny Live podcast on Tuesday nights. As for those who've been following me, we've been the past over the past few months. We've been doing a series. It's called Kingdom Matters, right? Really dis- discussing crucial topic, almost like sacred cow issues in the body of Christ. And the most recent one we did, which was called How to Discern the False Supernatural. How to discern the false supernatural. And I had an encounter with the Lord while preparing it, and I received probably、uh, the greatest. <laughs> In terms of a spiritual warfare, in comparison to the other podcasts I have done so far this year, I felt probably the most、uh, spiritual resistance from the force of darkness for this in, in preparing for this particular podcast, for whatever reason. And not, not a lot of people knew before I was start getting like almost like a flu-like symptoms a few days before the podcast, just getting all of a sudden out of the blue. No one in my family was sick.、Uh, no one around me was sick, and I was feeling fine. Just all of a sudden, I start feeling、uh, flu-like symptoms, and especially、uh, these symptoms would really exaggerate itself in the in the evening time, in the night time. And and I wasn't. I was just praying, seeking Lord, and I felt this was not just a natural cause. I felt this was spiritually related. Couldn't. Quite put my finger on it at the moment in the beginning, so I just started really praying and interceding, you know, for the po- for the for the podcast. And fast forward a little bit to the day of the podcast, and I was praying and preparing, and felt the Lord just start asking me to take authority against specifically、uh, spirits、uh, of divination, familiar spirit. In a spirit related to witchcraft or cultivity, just very specific in that in that specific area. So I just start, you know, taking authority against these demonic spirit, and, and the Lord actually point out even more specific nuances of of certain category and area, which I won't I won't go into right now. And I just felt like to enter into worship, and. And even when I even talked to our staff before the podcast, I said, "Hey, I really felt like the Lord wanted to start a podcast with worship tonight." And so we actually was able to got on the call. Me and my staff, we prayed a little bit among ourselves、uh, for each other and for what the Lord wanted to release at the podcast. And we started worshiping. And in, as soon as we start worshiping, and I felt led to、uh, to play the songs called "I Surrender All." It's an old hymn, right? "I Surrender All." As soon as I start playing the worship, I felt the presence of the Lord, and the Lord just start encountering me, actually speaking to me, regarding I, I think not only for the podcast and the word of the Lord He was releasing that night for for the podcast, but I feel like this is significant to others in the body of Christ. The Lord spoke to me, "Your Goliath is coming down." The Lord spoke to me. I heard your Goliath is coming down. Then the Lord told me, "Take up the stone I have given you, and use it. Take up the stones I have given you, and use it." And instantly, it brought me to the story, as, as the classic, famous story we all know it, right? Between David and Goliath. I just want to read it here for 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 the conversation sake that we have right now. You can go to First Samuel seventeen twenty six. First Samuel seventeen twenty six. Actually, fast forward to verse forty. I'm going to jump a few different verses, but the vo- verse forty say David. Right, this is David at the battle, and he was trying on you know Saul's armor and sword, but it didn't fit him. It was not meant to him. Right, is is not meant. For him to wear, and I think that itself it speaks on many in the body of Christ right now. The Lord has taken the season what to try down things, maybe calling,、uh, gifting, and assignment you thought was yours, but it was really not yours. It's not meant 
for you is not that in itself was was bad or evil. It is not that in itself was ungodly, but it was not the God thing for you. Just like David was trying on Saul's armor, it was not meant for him. It's, that was not God's uh, uh, resource. It was not God's tool for him. And then keep on read on. But he took a staff in his hand. Verse forty. He chose himself five smooth stone, five smooth stone, from the book and put him in the shepherd's bag. Which is his pouch he had, and in sling, right? And he drew near the Philistine, and we know the rest of the story. Even when verse forty-five, David told the Philistine Goliath, he said, "You have come with the sword, with the spear, and the javelin, but I have come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, of thy God, the uh, the God of the army of Israel, who you have defied. And this day, the Lord will deliver you into my hand." I will strike you and take your head from you, and this day I will give the carcasses uh, of, of, of basically of, of the uh, Goliath to the camp of Philistine, to the birds of the air, and the wild beasts on the earth, that all the earth may know that there is God in Israel. And many of you know the rest of the story. Instantly, when the Lord spoke to me that night at the podcast during worship, when He said, "Pick up your stone and use them." In the, the the first part, of scripture jumped out to me is here, in First Samuel, and jumped out to me when the when the David pick up the five smooth stones. So I instantly, with the Lord, Lord know the Lord what what He tells me, right? And we know uh, from the typology perspective in the New Testament, Jesus Christ, right? Jesus the Rock, and He is our chief cornerstone. And so, stone in in prophetically, symbolically, it also can means. Uh, the word of God, right? The word of God, using rightly the word of God, and I, I instantly I heard that I knew the podcast that night there was a significance to what the Lord want to release to set the captives free, to uh, to allow the truth of God to set those people free who are bound, who are imprisoned, and towards the end of it. And we, we we went through prayer and activation at the end, and it was it was we're praying. The Lord spoke to me again, and the Lord spoke this to me: "Say, the principal the principality that you have been battling has fallen. The principality you have been battling is fallen." And I feel like. The combination of what the Lord told me that night at the podcast is a significant word. It's a significant word for those who are like David, who've been faithful to the Lord, who stood up, st- stood up to the occasion, who who took up your assignment and your call for such a time as this, and you partake in the instrument of the Lord. In whatever resource, whatever tool that God has given you, just like David used what he didn't use sword with a typical weaponry at that time, he used a sling <laughs> and five smooth stones. And the Lord used that, and David's obedience by faith, and slayed Goliath, slayed the giant in the land that was facing. The nation at the time, and nation of Israel at the time. I feel like many of you is in this juncture, in this very moment of this juncture, and and I just want to encourage you to press through, to walk through the the entirety what the Lord has called you to do for this moment, for such a time as this, just like dear David did, because the ultimate results will be. Is what I've. It's not just what it, at the end of the day it happened. When the Lord spoke to me at the end of the podcast, as we we're praying and worshiping, He said, "The principality that's been battling you is falling." And instantly, the scripture that came to me is Revelation eighteen. Revelation eighteen, and the verse. Two, verse 18, uh, 18 verse 2 said And he cried mightily with a loud voice Saying Babylon the great is fallen 
Babylon the Grey has fallen, has become a place of a dwelling demons and every foul spirit. And instantly, that scripture came to me, right? The fall of Babylon the Great, the fall of Babylon the Great. So whatever stronghold has been contending, whatever high-ranking demonic forces has been plaguing, has been uh, 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 fighting, has been resisting you, has been tormenting your family, has been trying to do whatever it can to destroy your life, your, your ministry, business, marriage, whatever it is, whatever it is might be. And I feel like this is really what the Lord, I, 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 I don't even say this lightly. I, you, you, if you know me, I don't even say that often. I feel that this is the word of the Lord saying, trust him. As you step up to the plate, use what the Lord has given you. Watch and see the Goliath fall. Watch and see whatever principality and power has been continuing against you, against you to be cast down by the Lord himself, by the spirit of the living God. And I just, I want to release this word as encouragement that this is the nexus point. This is where you are at. Press all the way through. Don't stop. Don't stop in the momentum. Don't stop in the motion as she's stepping into the water, on water, uh, by faith through grace. Go all the way through. Do not stop. And watch the salvation of the Lord. Watch the salvation of the Lord to be to manifest in your life. Lord, I just I just lift up every person, every man and woman who's watching this, who's viewing this. Father, we come in agreement by faith that give them the strength. Strength, give them the strength that they can do all things through Christ who strengthened them. And when you're for them, who shall be against them? And Father, I ask by the Spirit of the Lord that you will strengthen their inner man with the power of your might. That would they will pick up their their five smooth stones. They will use their sling and they will hurdle against every Goliath that stands in their way against the destiny of God, against your purpose and your fullness for their life and their family, their assignment, their calling in Christ Jesus. And Father, that we come and agree that we will see the salvation of the Lord, that every power of darkness shall be completely cast down. They shall be completely judged and render powerless, useless before the throne room of the Lord God Almighty. We declare this this day, God, that you are a righteous judge. You are the judge of all, the ancient of days. And we just give you glory. We give you honor, the mighty deeds, the, the victory of the Lord that you shall establish. And we shall see that very victory, that very goodness in the land of the living, in every area of our life. We just declare, decree that right now. In Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Beloved, I hope this bless you. Uh, I really felt strongly to share this word with you because I, be, I believe it is significant. It is significant for so many of you have been contending. So hopefully this is a encouragement to accelerate, to push you across that finish line. Amen. And share this, especially if you really know somebody, someone that's been, uh, been praying and interceding for a long time, that they need kind of almost a, a, a jolt of hope, of faith. Share this with them. Beloved, I love you, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.